I'm in pain, but don't take <laughs> don't don't care don't care Oh shit. I'm about to die. We'll be back. I'm honestly alive. Hi besties. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the chaos. Welcome to things usually not working out the way you think that they do, especially in this video. So I moved to San Francisco ended up in the ER three times and then got hospitalized for seven days all within the span of like a week and some change so welcome to the chaos i hope you enjoy it here and if you don't know me my name is Kajal. i am a medical student who is currently doing research in san francisco come along for the ride camera on you you're saying some shit. <laughs> shit it's cold we're in the club we're in the clouds oh it's so cold Do you ever feel like when you have a really good thing going for you and life just kind of throws you, I don't know, into the ditches? Yeah, that's kind of what happened to me here. So I had just moved to San Francisco like a week ago and I ended up in the hospital for a week, seven whole days. I was admitted in the hospital and it was also the most chaotic experience because I didn't get admitted right away. I had to go to the ER a bunch of times. They sent me home thinking that everything was fine, um, but that was clearly not the case. I'm pretty sure I was experiencing organ failure. Let's recap a little bit on what happened. I was just in a lot of pain, right? A lot of abnormal pain. I panicked a little bit and I took a bus, like an overnight bus home. So home for me is in Southern California. And since I had just moved to San Francisco, it was a nice long nine hour overnight bus ride and that morning i went to the er and they just told me that i have a you know one of those really crappy utis here's some medication here's some pain medication you'll be fine i've been home for a whole three seconds and i'm already in the er <laughs> to be honest i'm only smiling because they put me on pain meds and i can actually breathe but um I'm pretty sure I'm going through kidney failure right now. They sent me on my way. So I was like, all right, you know, cool. At least it's solved. At least I can, you know, move on with my life and, um, you know, not worry about being in excruciating pain all the time. And for those of you who have had a really bad UTI, you know what I'm talking about. And I came home spontaneously because I wanted to. <laughs> well, I, I ruined I my mean, kidneys. Like <laughs> Whatever, I came home. And I didn't want to go back alone, so I dragged her ass with me. 
and we had all these high hopes for leaving at five o'clock in the morning. I mean, we we did six, which honestly, I'm pretty proud of us. That's that's a good. We have like a one hour buffer in our time. Even if I say, yeah, yeah I'll be there at eight, and they're like, okay, so nine. <laughs> okay, but we're also brown, so what do you I'm expect? Like, right? Yeah, but I think we're a little bit extra. <laughs> <laughs> like we're bad. I'm with six. I mean, that's also because none of the things that we do are it, like does important. it need to be fun? Yeah, like yeah. is it really that important if we show up to a hangout like an hour later? No, not really. Like I don't think it matters. We're really not that important. <laughs> <laughs> like, but like, is anyone really like twiddling their thumbs waiting for us? Like, yes. <laughs> so now we're on our venture to San Francisco. Finally, we'll see you at breakfast. <laughs> Bye. I'm allergic to the granola at this breakfast place. Don't worry, we got some granola. <laughs> but I carry some in my bag. Okay. Yum. Double yum. Yummer. Because the light is this way. I mean, I could sit on that side. All right, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Doing it for the vlogs. <laughs> I'm moving. Damn, check out that lighting. Oh my god. Look how good look how good this looks. <laughs> Should I tag you in this one? It says tag you. No nuts. Oh, okay, so we're at this really cute place called Backyard Bowls in uh, Santa Barbara. Um, oh shit. We both got island bowls. Guys, I'm fixing my hair. I don't know what's like in them. Person. But there's no nuts, so. There's no nuts or gluten, so. She's hopefully not gonna die. She eats this. She eats this. Mine has all of them. My vibe is just living life right now. My vibe is just living life. My vibe is just living life. See you, Vanessa. See you, Vanessa. <laughs> Record for the, running, running, the shit show running. that like was half dressed. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me show everyone actually, how everyone's half actually, dressed right now. All right, go give me your outfit. My shift closet, I have extremely loose jeans. Look at this. <laughs> I could fit Thanksgiving in here. <laughs> this cute little, you know, what is it called? A shacket? <laughs> what are you Listen, wearing? I'm so dehydrated right now. <laughs> I'm having a bomb. <laughs> We were trying to get on this seven, seven. This is me holding my curling iron. That's how not ready we are. Not. We have a like curling iron. I'm literally wearing like I didn't even. I'm not even dressed. Like I'm gonna get dressed at my cousin's house. So that's the. That's where we're at right now. My vibe is just living life. Good morning. I'm in <laughs> moccasins, a t shirt, and a jacket. This is Kajal Mali. Kajal, don't kill us. Get us a breakfast. Okay, it's 2 30. It's 2 30. It is literally 2 30 right now, and, and we're, we're getting, breakfast, getting breakfast. But we partied so hard yesterday. It was a great time. A lot now of we're doing brunch. It's 2.30, so it's literally like not even lunch. It's like tea time. I know like we're going to go get food at one place right now, which I'm excited for, but I'm also excited for like We're pre-planning like six meals. different meals. And like, okay, you're gonna love, love Bakwan. Well, we should go. Let's go tonight right? for dinner. All right, we can go to Pakwan. Oh, do you wanna do it? It's so, so pretty. I can't believe it's so hot. Hey, that's this is where we're eating. This is called Mama's. Oh, this is Mama's right here? here. Yeah, oh. this is mama. <laughs> at, at a brunch, and her eating. At an American like restaurant. Fob. You know what? It's fine because we all are fob here. How are you supposed to eat this? They gave me. That's how you're supposed to eat it. <laughs> I need it. So I'm gonna eat it. It's not that I want Indian food. 
If you said it's so good, I would like you to try for all of you to try it. But me, I literally come here every weekend. Why don't you ever come see me? We ate at this pizza place. Might I say it was good pizza? <laughs> you I can't me? take y'all anywhere. <laughs> Bitch, what the shoes? Oh, I'm about to wear two different color socks. They're matching though. But it's matching now. Bro, we're walking uphill. My thighs are literally <laughs> burning. Right. That's pretty funny though. You're like, damn. How are your thighs feeling? My thighs? Oh. Yeah. It's like I just did a workout. <laughs> <laughs> She's making us walk uphill for this coffee shop. This place doesn't have a bathroom. It means I'm gonna have to pee so badly. Uh, we literally walked all the way uphill. Listen, well, this is for this spot. coffee shop, it six for it here. to be closed. For my defense, I just didn't know. My thighs. Oh my god, we were sitting in the booth. Kajal, I just have to say, like, interrupt this conversation <laughs> oh, this is and say that Kajal is like extremely warm blooded because I am freezing in her apartment <laughs> and this bitch has all her windows open, their fan on, and I'm like, you live in San Francisco. Thanks. Anyways, I was talking about how we were sitting in the booth and I'm wearing a dress and I got thunder thighs and they got What's stuck, thighs? like big thighs. They got stuck to like the the plastic seat thing and I didn't realize and I got up really fast and I almost I'm pretty sure like I Unintentionally waxed to the back of my thigh. It hurts so badly. Yeah, this is a cute little alleyway Isn't that so cute? I really want this <laughs> Walking so much. Where the? Oh, oh, oh run! Go, fuck! Go, run! Go. Hold on! <laughs> <laughs> we got left behind. So. Oh! I was wondering where the giggling was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm honestly so sleepy come back right now. Down. Stop. I'm gonna tell sleepy. you this right now. We're gonna shotgun like maybe two Red Bulls. Shotgun? Then, You're not gonna shotgun a Red Bull. And then we can do whatever you want after that. But I'm gonna have to like. I want to take a nap. Get some caffeine in me. Can we nap? Yeah, we can. We can nap. You're literally drinking caffeine right now. I know, but I, I already. This know is what I'm you call caffeine you're addiction. You're making me hold this. This is dumb. She took it out of my hand because she thought I was being too clowny in the middle of the street. Do you like lychee? You can have it back. That was Wait, do you like lychee? I do like the fruit. Okay, we're gonna get it. This is me and my broom. I thought you said groom, and I was like, where? <laughs> Uja, what is this behavior? Oh my god. Uh, oh my are god. Are you dying for it? <laughs> yeah, find me a man's while you're at it. Yeah. This is fun. Oh, I almost hit. I almost hit that. Oh, I almost hit that pole too. Oh, I just realized I'm in video and I was really like concerningly looking down. Oh shit. I'm about to die. We'll be back. <laughs> She's gonna be Sunita tonight. Do you see this? this what I mean. Happy birthday to Sunita. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> We're out 
out here. Chim chimney, chim We're out here. Are you gonna come back with a broom, a lamp? I don't know. Oh, my lamp! I really want this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. oh, no. We need to drive to the alleyway. Uh, I don't know the rest of the words to this song. You're a wizard, oh, Harry. I'm wearing a hat. Uh, <laughs> awkward. Oh, okay. You're a wizard, Harry. Thank you. <laughs> Let me little cut my little, you know. Am I? Like, I've been holding everyone's like things. <laughs> <laughs> That's her birthday. That's her birthday. Wait, wait, hold we on. We look like clowns. She took it out of my hand because she thought I was being too clowny in the middle of the street. Like <laughs> <laughs> wait, hold on, hold on. Uh, hold on, hold on. Wait, hold on. Didn't that seem like such a nice, fun post? Going out the night before, stroll through San Francisco, brunch in the early afternoon day. Well, this is when things kind of start to hit the fan. Um, I started feeling really terrible uh, towards the end of our time in Chinatown. We called it a day. Then that same really painful, uncomfortable, like just not it feeling came back. The same one that I was experiencing the week before or a couple days before. It was worrisome. I went to the ER in San Francisco. I went to UCSF. Um, I live right across the street, so it was really convenient. And so me and my friend went to the ER. Okay, I can't believe the person that's Do I look like your mother? <laughs> yeah. Oh my, does she look like my mom? Okay. I can't tell, everybody's wearing a mask. She, oh my gosh. The, who what? was it outside? He was like, is that your daughter? And I was like, I was like, well, huh? what? I was like, thank you very much. <laughs> Sir, what? I was like, do I look that little? <laughs> do I look that old? I'm hot. I'm in pain, but don't take don't a picture of my hair. <laughs> if my hair doesn't look good, don't take a picture. Oh, God. I'd rather you take a picture of me unconscious <laughs> than with bad hair. Which test is for which color? I have no idea. It's lipid. Oh, I... <laughs> I studied that lecture for like three seconds. Green's lipid, purple CC. So we had to spend hours in the ER. We got there around like 6 p.m. and they didn't just charge me until like 11.30, you know, close to midnight. After I got some medicine in me, you know when you're with your best friend and even in the most inappropriate places, you got some crackhead energy going on. So... <laughs> This was our crackhead energy. <laughs> so yes, she's fine. She's Look currently trying to force me to make a TikTok video. <laughs> At this point, um, medically speaking, they were just giving me more antibiotics and more pain medication. And um, being the not doctor yet that I am, um, I was under the impression that everything was fine. Um, the previous antibiotics just weren't strong enough. The pain medicine just wasn't strong enough. Anyway, so I was finally discharged. And then um, it is my cousin's birthday or her birthday weekend. We were planning on celebrating the whole weekend. Um, but clearly my organs had um, other plans. Next morning, we dwindled out to brunch. Vlog. Hey, vloggy vlog. We're on our way to eat some brunch. Um, like three hours after we planned to, but you know, we're still getting <laughs> brunch and that's what matters. <laughs> it's Sapna's birthday today. Happy B Day. Thank you. Thank you. We really tried to party all weekend, but I died again after <laughs> yesterday. The fact that I am puffy, but we're alive! We're here, we're getting coffee. Or some Bev. Wow, I really am puffy. Coffee and Bev. And then waiting for brunch, which is basically lunch now, because it's one o'clock. <laughs> basically wrapped up it's Sunday afternoon whoever is not from town is leaving and I continue to feel like absolute trash and um, I almost felt like it was getting worse like I just didn't know what was going on 
So I headed back to the ER once again. TV, welcome to my crib. Turns out whatever this thing was required me to be hospitalized. <laughs> what? I had a kidney infection. Being that, you know, I've been to the ER three times at this point for this exact situation in three different places over the course of like a week. Whatever this infection was could have been prevented from being spread to the kidney if it was just handled properly the first time. I was admitted for seven whole days at UCSF, a whole 500 feet from my new house. Honestly, if it wasn't that foggy, you could see like the Golden Gate Bridge and like all this fun stuff over here, but it's foggy so you can't see anything. You know, it was still a adventurous time at the hospital. I uh, made a lot of friends um, and I made my friends come visit me. to show you my breakfast but i got gluten-free mac and cheese with extra cheese sauce I got mashed potatoes i got this like fun little vegetable box um balsamic glaze um olive oil thingy for my vegetables they gave me boom chicka pop some ginger ale and some condiments i have apple juice i drank my orange juice and have water this is what you call trying really hard to live your best life. Hang on, let me give you a better view of all this. Damn, I got my own blanket too. The view is really cute. The fog hasn't really cleared up yet, but ah, I'm gonna show you. Like, it still looks really pretty. Anyways, that's where I'm at in life. So I guess another really like funny part of this story is that because I had just moved into my house in San Francisco, um, I hadn't really get to know my roommates really well yet. And I come in as this train wreck that's just, you know, being hospitalized every five seconds in the ER every other day. I'm, I wouldn't call myself high maintenance, but like if you're stuck in a hospital for seven days, which I didn't fully realized like you cannot leave you know so like right as i got admitted whatever i came in with like whatever i came to the er with is all i had in my possession to like survive seven days i didn't have a lot of things i care a lot about my hair i didn't have a shampoo conditioner i didn't have anything to do my hair i didn't have anything to let the time go by you know what i mean i had this dinky little tv in my hospital room and there's only so much of the Hallmark channel that you can watch without, I don't know, going crazy almost. My hair is so greasy. I could tell my roommate to bring me some dry shampoo, but he might be like, bitch, you're literally dying. Why do you care about your hair? I was gonna ask him to bring a nail polish, but then I decided I wouldn't, didn't wanna make a fool of myself, so I didn't. But I'm just going to enjoy my lunch. So I was contemplating texting my roommate and being like, hey, can you bring me my curler? Can you bring me some shampoo? But um, I don't want to say, uh, sound totally insane. Like, ma'am, you are dying in the hospital. And th these, these are the items that you are requesting. Like, I don't know. But my friend had come to visit me and I sent her with my house key to go like pick up all the stuff that I wanted because she wouldn't think I'm crazy. I'm not really shocked that this is the way my life plays out because sometimes I just, it's sometimes you just gotta laugh. Like I really feel like I just, I think about this all the time and I just laugh because it is so absurd. Fit check. Got this cute hospital gown. This nice little robe. I pinned my hair back so I don't look like a clown for when they come in to do rounds. And I'm honestly alive. I'm more alive than I was for the last 10 days, so. Uh, my parents, you know, were panicking back home thinking that I was actually like literally gonna lose an organ, lose a kidney or something. So, for some reason they thought this was a good idea, but they shipped my 
21 year old little brother, 20 year old little brother, um, <laughs> off to come, I don't know, take care of me or entertain me. My brother drove up and um, he spent some time with me the last couple days while I was in the hospital. Look who's here! Yeah, what pills are these? Uh, Tylenol. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Mike Wazowski. <laughs> the other way. <laughs> Literally. Like, here. Okay, I'm like reverse Mike Wazowski. The TV is like it's a scale. One third. It's my hand is one third of the TV. Like three of my hands. Dude, not even three, TV. bro. It's like two. Like maybe like two point five. Nah. So it's basically like the same as my laptop, but just plaster on the wall. Did you do it? Do what? Did you do it? I didn't do anything. Did you do it? Nope. Don't lie. Lie about what? Did you do it? Do what? Guess who's going home? Me! We're moving out. Whoop, whoop. Bye bye room. It's a good run, 607 East. It was a good run. Bye! I'm coming! Don't move! Don't move! On the way home, I get to take a souvenir. Look. Check out my souvenir. Wow! We love. I'm about to yank this shit out the second this is done. I'm not even kidding. I was finally discharged the following week. It's so nice to go out into the real world and like walk around and not be confined to such a small space. Once I got discharged, um, me and my brother went to have dinner with some family and that was a wrap. That basically sums up the most chaotic first week um, in San Francisco that I could probably ever have experienced. Thank you for watching. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment below uh, your most absurd moving story because I love hearing this stuff. And subscribe to my channel.